Hey, this is Jay Adams. And if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First off, it's free. It's free. Listen, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. All you have to do is download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Come on and join the Anchor team. Hey, and we back again. What's good, bro? What's good, man? What's good? How you doing, man? Man, we good, bro. It's been a long week, if I can say. It's episode, yeah, what yeah. is this, episode six? Uh, man, I believe so. Episode six. I hope so. Because we saying it. <laughs> I think that's right. I think right. Yeah, I think that's right, though, man. You know, like, of course, y'all got to act like we ain't talk all week, bro. So... We don't have to. <laughs> I don't think people gonna believe us no more anyway. Oh, well, yo, what, what? I mean, you said it, bro. How was your week though, bro? How, how's it going so far? Man, so far, man, it's been all right. I say it like that, man. Just trying to make some decisions, man. Me, and my family, think about moving. Just trying to figure out where, man. But that's that's the biggest thing about this week. I feel like but besides that, working school, working school. What about you, bro? You know, you know everything getting on my nerves. No, ain't it? Uh, angry man. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> this boy, just over here trying to create, and people won't let me create or be creative in peace, you know. But hey, sometimes you gotta put hands on people. Nah, I don't, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of doing that. Man, you ain't putting no hands on nobody. Boy, stop playing. Man, you're right. You're absolutely right, bro. You're absolutely I know. right. I know. <laughs> this nigga right here, man. Well, I'm ready to talk, man. I'm trying to keep my mouth closed. So, bro, what, bro, what we talking about this week, though, bro? Man, this week we're gonna entertain y'all with something light. You know what I'm saying? Kind of last week a little, a little heavier, or something a little bit uh, more conscious. But this week, maybe we just have a little fun. Uh, I know y'all probably be keeping up with the purchase uh, that's been going on. Um, this week we're just gonna talk about some verses that we would like to see. Um, but we're gonna, you know, turn up a little bit. We're gonna do ours a little uh differently. We're gonna speak on verses we would like to see dead or alive. Uh obviously, if these people were alive, who you know what type of matchup we would like to see. Um, and before we get into that, let me start the episode by saying uh last week, right? When we were talking about certain stuff, and I talked about my uh my vulnerability of uh daddy issues, right? Um, I spoke with my mama and I said any kind of ma- any time she would bring a man by I wasn't being specific on the number because I feel like it was none of y'all business but I didn't realize that that kind of made my mama sound like she was a hoe or something and my mama ain't no hoe you hear me but she told me to let y'all know she ain't no hoe and it was only <laughs> it was only like, <laughs> it was only like two minutes ever bro but I realized by not saying the number, it made it seem like it was so many people, and it wasn't. And my mama, you know, she called, she checked me. Shout out to you, mama, for me every week. <laughs> she got on your but, uh, ass. Boy, this she called call me with the foolishness, man. Oh, so I'm clear, man. I'm clear my mama name, you heard me? It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. I thought I was being a good son by not being specific, but in reality, I was being the opposite. So it wasn't like that. My mama wasn't just an out here. Or if she was, I didn't know about it. Damn so, if you yeah. do, damn if you don't, bro. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Mama. You hear that, mama? Damn. <laughs> she got on his ass. But <laughs> call me cutting up, man. <laughs> but yeah, I just, wanted to, I just wanted to clear that before we get started, man. Yeah, that was breaking news to me, bro. Bro, <laughs> it was so funny, bro, when she called me, dog. She had even, she didn't even listen to the whole episode yet. She just heard when she got to that part. She's like, oh man, I'm this through. Nigga, yeah. I'm too through. 
Bro, it was funny though. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. But I was rolling, dog. Oh, but I didn't realize, bro. man. I didn't realize. My bad. My bad, mama. <laughs> yeah, it's all love. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, funny, all right, y'all. Back to the topic at hand now. Like, yes, sir. Like, like we remind y'all every week, this is just our opinion. You know, what I'm for saying? sure, for sure. Especially this episode, y'all. Like, right, right. if y'all get mad about this, y'all just wanted to be mad in the first place, bro. Yeah, you know, like, and then I can do about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, we like I said, we live in a cancel culture. You know, what I'm saying, but if you don't, if you agree, cool. If you don't agree, that's cool too. Let us know in the comments with you, but see, but this is what we hate. Uh, this is, uh, and I, I'm gonna speak for Darion on this. I hate we, we don't tell us what you don't like, or if you don't like, and don't give us a solution. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if, if you think their verses didn't match up good, then give us a solution for it. You yeah. Know give us a, give us a better matchup, a matchup you you that you would have liked to see. Right. Feel, and feel open to it because. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some matchups where y'all be like, nah, that ain't it. But <laughs> don't just tell me, nah, that ain't it. Man, let me know. Get involved, man. Y'all yeah. part of the family. Y'all part of the team, man. Yeah, yeah, man. We we here for y'all, bro. Well, yeah, like Straight I up. said, but some of y'all, man, some people, man, some somebody <laughs> commented. I remember I did a, a, a version of this. I posted like a, a couple months ago, and some of y'all matchups made no sense at all. Like somebody yeah. said. Said, God damn, TLC versus boys to men. And I was like, How? Huh? How? Where y'all get that from? That must have been their favorite female group versus their favorite male group. Well, well damn, say that. Yeah, uh-huh. exactly. Because otherwise, nigga, we like, What? Because I, I was scratching <laughs> my head when I read it. I was like, How? That would, how? E- that would even sound good sonically. Like, nobody want to hear that. Right. How did you get those two? <laughs> like, we're not bashing whoever no, whoever said that man we ain't yeah. bashing we just want to no, understand I, that's all yeah just just break it down to us bro because that makes <laughs> no sense and, and well, i we, love we go, boys we gonna, to gonna break it down for y'all you know what i'm saying we love yeah, boys exactly. to tlc but that's that's not a good matchup at all at all yeah at least all, not to us not to us it's not yeah and, and like i said and all this is our opinion bro we we don't say we don't try to put make everything to be fat you know what i'm saying this, this is how we feel about this thing and that's and that's why y'all here that's why we here you know what i'm saying so we about to get it jumping man first yeah, off okay covid covid has been rough on all of us I yeah think, yeah so who, the fact that they even thought to come up came come up with this is creative because yeah. If COVID has taught me anything, it, it it taught me to be creative and be outside, think outside the box. Yeah. And and that's how we got these versus battles. And I'm I'm thankful for that, bro, because we needed something. Hell yeah, something to look forward to, some kind of entertainment. Yeah. What the hell? What happened? No, you good. All right. Well, I thought I was tripping over here, Cub. No, you good. <laughs> But yeah, uh, we needed something, you know what I'm saying? Because people was down, and these versus battles is the only thing that I can think of that was like, bro, we need to. Yeah, it, man, and it's a conversation piece, bro. Like, you see so many YouTubers and people getting content from these verses because ain't nobody touring, ain't nothing really happening. So this is the verses to me is created so much more for other people. Like you said, even now it's giving us something to talk about. Yeah, it's giving us a concept, you know. Yeah. And I think that's pretty dope. So first, for off the jump, out of jump, bro. Think what's the first verses you you wanted to see out the gate? My very first verses. Uh, all right. Anybody knows me? I'm a super Chris Brown fan. So uh, now I know Chris Brown already said previously that he ain't doing no verses. He feel like he could beat everybody. Cool. That's fine. But the person I would want to see him against is Trey Songs. Really? Yes, this is why. This is why. I didn't think he was going right. to say that. Yeah, because the other, the other person is like that would be the more, more obvious one. But this is the reason why I want Trey Songs. I remember in high school um, coming up, it's like it was always a battle where people used to say Trey Songs was better than Chris Brown. He had more hits, so he was this, he was that. And first of all, me being a Chris Brown fan, I ain't like that because Trey songs don't sing better than my nigga CB, you hear me, at all. But I couldn't deny it, the man did have some hits. Now, Quan, if you listening, you 
and your sister Nuni is the reason why I want to see this battle. These people, I ain't gonna call them the N-word, it's black history, man. But these people used to speak as if Trey Songs was just way above Chris Brown. I don't know, they did it just to make me angry. I don't know what it was, bro. But it was just you know how somebody would be saying something as if it's fact. All right. Yeah. But it's like the furthest thing from that. It's like opinion. Let, let opinion be opinion, but don't just say like you just know my like Trey Songs just gonna kill my nigga. Because to me, when you go first of all, Trey Songs don't even have close to as much content. Not as that nigga don't have enough songs. And to me, when I think about where's Trey Songs now, I'll be getting arrested fighting in the games. <laughs> Last time I I, I thought of Trey Songs when they redid the power intro and everybody was pissed off. And everybody was killing them for it. Yeah, I can't tell you one new Trey song song. And I, I'm not saying he's not relevant. I'm not saying that at all. But to me, he he just don't have enough. And he didn't have enough back then either. But I don't know what. I guess he yeah, had people. Yeah, maybe because when we was in when when he when we was in high school, that's when he was Trey song was at his peak. I guess. Yeah. And Chris Brown. Yeah, he, by then Chris Brown had they honestly um, they honestly kind of came out around the same time, but. It's Chris Brown came out the out the gate, you know what I'm saying? It took Trey Songs a little time to Yeah, before he before he uh right. blew up. Right. So I think that's because what it he's was. not as good. He ain't on my nigga level, you heard me? Oh any Trey Songs fan out there know that. Now that's a fact. He ain't on my nigga Chris Brown level. And that's well, on yeah. me, dog. Well yeah, yeah. Um yeah, I didn't I wasn't expecting you to I would like I said the obvious one. I put Chris Brown against Usher because I felt like yeah, that's the obvious one. Usher has him, Chris Brown. Usher has the hits, you know what I'm saying? So um, and see, that's what Chris Brown better realize. He be talking like can't nobody stand in front of him, but he must have forgot about Usher's arsenal, dog. Man, I think that's just arrogance. I think every artist feel like that. I feel like he he was talking about everybody but Usher. I, yeah, I think so. Cause yeah, uh, nah, that's that's because bro, it's like, and honestly, I was naive too. I used to think, man, Chris Brown will wash Usher, but bro, when I went through the list of the Usher hits, then he got a bro, Usher got a couple hits when he was a kid too. Oh, that's what I'm, I'm talking about everything. Yeah. I'm like, this man really been out here. Yeah, it's just you know Usher, and I can't even say he don't really just be in the news. I, I don't know what make niggas forget. I ain't gonna lie. To me, if they was to do a versus twenty songs. Usher can do 20 songs that everybody know word for word. And that's a dangerous man to go against. Yeah. That's a danger. But yeah, that's that's the obvious battle for me will be them two. But just because I want people to realize that Trey Songs can't mess with Chris Brown, I would like to see that battle. I'd like to see Chris Brown kill him. I, I, and I ain't gonna play. I don't think he would just wash him, but I feel like it would be a clear victory at the same time. I did I, I don't want I'm not I have no interest in that because just like I knew. Like when the Lakers made it to the final against the Heat, like uh, like I mean the Heat made it. Oh like, yeah, I think say. <laughs> they made it like you, see, you already know who gonna win. But, yeah, yeah, I was like, bro, this is gonna be a wash, bro. Yeah, but it, it was interesting to see the fight. But I get what you're saying. No, though. Just, that you know, I mean, just like, something that you know is an easy dub. Just, That's like beat up a nigga that you know can't fight. Just, that's what I'm saying. Trey Song at first it would be tight. Then Chris Brown would start losing them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because Trey opinion. Songs only got certain ones, right. and then Trey Songs better not play those certain runs at the wrong time. Right. So what you gonna do when Excuse Me Miss come on? But that's what that's what I'm saying. So uh, yeah, I I'm I'm not interested in that one just because I think it will be a wash. My my versus battle that I would like to see one of mine is since I would like to see Puff versus Jermaine Dupree. And Puff people. versus Jermaine Dupree. Right. So so Dell first. And I will so so Dell versus Bad Boy. And I will I will you I will put Bad Boy versus Death Row, but it ain't no Death Row no more. You know what I'm saying? And it's Suge in jail, Tupac dead. Uh, yeah, but I mean but what we said before, we're doing dead out loud. So you just but I, I, take 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 the in jail part out of it and just be like, okay, I, I if still, all these I still feel free. like Suge will get washed. Because of longevity, really? the longevity, bro. Listen, listen, hear me out. Hear me out. You got mm. so so deaf. You got bad boy, right? Yeah. Bad boy got Biggie, Lil Kim, One Twelve, Mace. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on. I said Biggie, One Twelve, Mace. 
Lil Kim. I said Lil Kim already. Yeah, you said Lil Kim. Okay, Lil Kim, Biggie, Mace, One Twelve. They had Craig Mack, a uh, French Montana, One Twelve. I mean, man, bad. I'm, it's a. They got some heavy hitters. Faith Evans. I don't know Faith if Faith Evans was actually with Bad Boy. Yeah, yeah. Faith Evans. Okay, I, I don't know. I thought she was signed to somebody else. I will, I ain't gonna put Mary J. Blige in there because she was affiliated with them, but she wasn't technically signed with them. Yeah. And he had a couple other cats in the two thousands too, like Looms, and he got some hits. And Jermaine Dupree got Crisscross. He got Escape. He got Lil Bow Wow. He got the Brat. He got Anthony Hamilton. Mm, that ain't enough, cuz Jay Quan, what you mean? Man, you know, I, I, oh, hey, you know, what I mean? you know how many records Lil Bow Wow sold? But as Bow Wow, you know, yeah. Just, oh, but I forgot, I, I forgot Jagged Edge. But listen to what you just said, though. You just said, yeah, Bow Wow was a monster. Yeah, he was. What we talking about right now, I feel like Bow Wow, how corny he's gotten. If he was in the verses, people are going to be focused on how corny he is, and they're gonna forget how great this man used to be. Right. So his corniness is going to hurt him. Yeah, it's going to hurt him. Yeah, and, 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 yeah, and when you bring the R and B groups, that is different. Like you bring in the jagged ears, that's that's tough. I mean, that's tough. It, Chris Cross was the first group of his kind. Escape Soul Records, Jagged Edge Soul Records, Anthony Hamilton, yeah. Jay Quan. Who else? Did? But but for that reason is why, like, I don't know if I want to see that battle because you're telling me. Like the heavy, 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 heavy hitters that I'm hearing you say is R and B artists, and it's like, you know, if you was hearing that in the verses, it's like the how would that really sound if I'm hearing a bunch of rappers and then backdooring with some damn jagged ends? No, I'm, what I mean is like record label for record label. Like, yeah, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. But you know, but you know, Diddy gonna play. He gonna play a lot of that Biggie, bro. He gonna play the ones that he know with certified W's. Yeah. So it's yeah. like me going from Biggie to damn Bow Wow. Yeah, yeah. They, everybody gonna say Biggie. Yeah. Bow Wow ain't Biggie. Not one Bow Wow yeah. song is gonna be something that Biggie put out. He don't. He don't not, yeah. He, not for no adults. He don't got the. Uh, he don't got the artist to match up with Big. Yeah. And that's that's the thing. Like they don't match up. Like hits wise, yeah, they both made plenty of hits. But as far as like just thinking about the just the way it looked, like it sonically, I wouldn't. want Okay. Be. So so besides Tupac and Snoop. There you are. Name me a death row. That's all I need, bro. That's all you need. No, 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 no. About. Name me some more death row artists. You got to think about it, bro. Name it's only music. 20 songs. It's only 20 songs you have to use. That's it. Snoop and Tupac is enough. You can't come to no battle with two artists, man. Bro, if Ashanti can come to a battle with a bunch of hooks, we I can know. come to a battle hey, with two we artists. We're talking about a different level. We ain't talking about that. <laughs> talking nah, about nigga, that. No, disrespect. Nah, no, no disrespect. Nah, no, that was disrespectful. But, oh, nah, but what I'm saying is, as a, if you're gonna come as a label, Tupac was only signed to Death Row for one album, no, for two albums, but the, the other album that came out when he while he was dead. But most of Tupac, you can't play half most of his work. You, yeah, could you? The, 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 only, the only exact the only album you can play is All Lies on Me. That's it. You can't play Tupacalypse now, you can't play uh. Me against the world. You can't play strictly for my niggas. You can't play none of that. That's not no that death is, row but album. Yeah. No, that's true. That's true. That's that would be cheating, bro. Not yeah, damn sure would. A so, lot of them cheat though. And, but a lot of Snoop's albums, bro. Like that. Remember, drop it like it's hot. Sexual seduction. Like it's Man, that was, that after, was way after. Yeah, that was after death row. You can't. But he had it. a lot. Of, but he had a lot of hits while he was there too, though. Yeah. Yeah, I can give you that. So, what wasn't Left Eye signed to death row at one point? Yeah, she never dropped no album. She dropped the album, but it never was released. She she made an album, but it never was released. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, they can't. He can't. He can't touch that either. Then he can't touch none of the TLC records. No. Oh hell! What no. about what about Nate Dog? Nate Dog. Yeah, I get. Yeah, you could bring a. You could. That's a. I ain't saying that's enough, but it's something. Name me a Nate Dog song. I I ain't say for me. I ain't say it's something for me. <laughs> I said for the world. I know the some. World, I know some. <laughs> I know some Nate Dog songs. But you know, I, I don't know the bottom. Exactly. I, don't I know him. I, I don't. I don't. I I ain't mean it like that. I'm no, saying I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah. A song is playing. It's like, okay, yeah, I know this. But I can't just be like, oh, this song is not not on that dog. Hell yeah, nah. You know, like I said, you know, I was a I'm an R&B person. I wasn't really on the rap. They like, talking about it except for the mega mega niggas. Like like you were talking about Tupac, Snoop Dogg. I know that type of stuff, but but that's what I'm saying. Like, so 
you cut you cut Tupac catalog in more than half. You cut yeah. Tupac catalog like ninety percent of it. You cut Snoop Dogg catalog in half. It don't it, he he can't match up. He uh, can't, bro. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know, man. They, he can try. They, they, they can still try. might have enough that fall within that twenty song. Yeah, you, you you may be right. You may be right because Tupac. Every it seemed like everything Tupac made was a hit almost. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I said, Snoop had a lot of, and then they hits, their hits wasn't just regular hits. Like, these was mega hits. So now, the I, only way he can catch up is if he asked some Dr. Dre songs. That's it. I was like, that, Dr. Dre was signed to him. Yeah, he was an artist just, and a producer. It, so. just, it depends on which songs fell under that umbrella, like you just said, because some, some stuff they can't use. Any, anything after NWA and, like, before the year 96, they can use. Probably so. That's that whole Friday soundtrack, the whole uh, the whole Above the Rim soundtrack almost was produced by Death Row. So he, he and that's I'm, I'm saying, yeah, and that's what the problem is too. Because also anything that they produce, it don't have to be the rappers technically on it. If they produce it in any way, they could use that. Because I seen uh yeah. with the T Pain versus Lil John battle, when, uh, so, where he po- where he did a Spanish song, he didn't have to be on it, but he produced it, so he he used it. So I'm I'm not saying it would be a watch because it wouldn't, bro. I don't, Tupac can I don't think Tupac can get washed. Hell no, nah, but, but you still get an edge to bad boy. Yeah, I, and I, I think so too. Saying. With the people that you name, I probably bro, I agree. And and Puff, he found he uh he the reason for Mary J. Blige, yeah, Jodeci, Jodeci, Faith Evans, Biggie. Man, 112, mate. Hey, bro, bro. That's one thing you gotta Prince, give, you gotta give Puff his damn credit for. That nigga, that nigga no music boy. Yeah, I mean, I didn't like dirty money, did he dirty money, but you know I, I like I liked a couple things that came out of that. I liked a couple joints. Yeah, yeah. French Montana. Yeah. Uh who else? Like I say, and people love bro. Man, everybody mama love Anthony Hamilton, bro. Yeah, oh, that's, that's also Anthony Hamilton. Trip. Yeah, I'm about to say that. Yeah, I'm about to say Anthony Hamilton. Hamilton so yeah. No, nah, that's also dope. But yeah, bro, he he he, puff. You know what I'm saying? Just and like in the early 2000s, he had Black Rob and and uh, Loons and all them. And I know they went on top for long, but they they was doing their thing in the early 2000s. Yeah, I'm saying that, yeah, that, that man saying. that man know music. He know what he's doing. Yeah, he, yeah, he do. I was like in the overall scheme of things. Hell yeah, you got to give it to a bad boy. But just a solid twenty, it could be a battle. <laughs> It, it, it would yeah. never happen, but you know, it, it could have been a battle. It could have been one. Versus, versus so, probably wouldn't work back then. Who else you got? Uh, a battle I would like to see, but I'm sure it, this would really be on preference. Like, what do you like? And it's feel like I feel like most people this would be a one sided battle. But Alicia Keys and Mary J. Blige, I would like to see that because growing up, bro, that's all I used to hear: either Mary J. Blige or Alicia Keys. Man, you, you, wait, wait, you, you think that's a good matchup? I would just like to see it because I feel like why? See, growing up, that's all I used to hear. It's like people. It's like either people was Alicia Key fan or there was Mary J. Blige fans. And did did they start around the same time or Alicia Keys out first? Man, Who's Alicia out first? Alicia Keys came out two thousand one. Mary J. came out ninety three. God damn. Yeah, yeah. How old was I? Two thousand one. Uh, you tell me. I am pretty old, dog. I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you said they came out on the same time. You sound, you sound like. No, I asked. You, you I sound asked like you. a name. That you sound like somebody that we not gonna name. But who? Oh hell, no, nah, boy. I, I asked. <laughs> I didn't say it. In fact, I asked you. Could you be the fact, nigga? I don't. I don't be looking up when people came out. I mean, I didn't look. I just. I mean, I've been a music head since. Yeah, I can't. But still, nigga, I ain't, I ain't looking up people years, nigga. I ain't look up no. <laughs> you had to. to you no, had to look it up. I'm, At one point in your life, you looked it no, up. No, bro, Mary J. Blige. I know for a fact Mary J. Blige, but I since the nineties. Yeah, nigga, but you said the exact year. Stop playing with me, boy. Man, look here, man. I'm a... And look, I just looked up. Alicia Key, you said 2001. Nigga, no. she came out 2001. You, you looked this up one no, point. No, no, because I vividly remember, like, the first time, the first song. She What's that first song she made? Fallen? I came around. Yeah. When she came out, hold on. I'm looking at, uh... Oh, you was wrong about Mary J. Blige. Ha, ha, What, 92? 91. <laughs> <laughs> Even longer, nigga. <laughs> 
God. <laughs> damn. It's a 10 year gap. But as I'm saying, like, I vividly remember Alicia Keys' first, you know what I'm saying, song dropping. We was old enough in 2001 to. You know what I'm saying? Remember? I don't know how old I was, nigga. You see, I didn't realize how long she been out. I mean, but I, like, I'll... hold on, Nick. Two thousand one. Hold on. I was eight. God damn, I'm old, my boy. But yeah, shit. I remember her first song because I I hadn't seen anybody like her, so she caught my attention. I was like, who is this? You know what I'm saying? With the braids and uh, you know what I'm saying? And Neo yeah. Neo Soul was still new to me at that point. Even though there was an Erica Badu and all that, it still wasn't resonating. So I was like, "Who is this?" I was about to say, "I don't." They the same. I didn't even know they were the same genre. Yeah. I, I consider them to be completely different. Yeah, they same, same. Look, uh, I consider Alicia Keys just be regular R and B. I don't give so, her a whole special category. I, I, I will put, I, I will put Mary J against somebody like. I would say Faith Evans, bro. People sleep on Faith Evans a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm knocked out. Man, but, I just be real, boy. I'm sleeping. Man, man, man Faith Devil got some hits, man. But man, Faith Devil get washed. See what you talking man, about? You at least, at least I tell somebody who got some, who got a whole bunch of hits. It makes sense. Name five Faith Devil hits. Five, five, I did. Man, you ain't Nah, I, I ain't giving you no time. Just, just in case you know five. Because I do know five. Uh, I do know five. Uh, uh Faith Evans songs, man. Right? Too late. You already missed your time, oh, dog. Man, this. this <laughs> I, hey, how are you gonna tell me? Give me something. Come out right after you say it, because you know. Cause I realize. I realize you be knowing too damn much. Yeah, you. You know I want to smoke. Oh, wait for nah, it. Hey, y'all. Y'all comment below who y'all rather see. Alicia Keys versus Mary J or Mary J versus Faith Evans. Oh, is, are we missing somebody? What what is a, what is another good bro, and, that, and that's what was hard, bro, because I, I didn't want to put on um, Mary J versus any newer act. But it's like when I think back then, like people who are even similar to her is that had hits like her. I can't think of nobody, bro. What about this one? I, I would put her against Mariah Carey. Think about that. Nah, yeah, I can't do that. Mariah Carey got hits too. It. No, no, no. She got the hits, bro. She definitely do. But the only reason why I say with Mariah Carey, right? What? Like, for me, and I do not think this is a good matchup. I'm starting off with that. Yeah. But that's one of the things I used to hear all the time. Like, when people talk about the top singers, it's like, I've been hearing Mary J. I mean, I say Mary J. Mariah Carey's name in the same category as Whitney Houston. And that's a negative. And I feel like people need to see that matchup so that they know that they've been tripping. Like she, to me, in my opinion, she should not be in that category as top singers just because she can hit a high note. There's a lot of people who can hit high notes. Man, they can't hit them like her. Bro, I all right, For, all right. I don't think know. That, I don't know. So, you so that, who, who you matching up? I will put. I'm not even gonna. No, nah, I ain't gonna. She, I don't think they're in the same category. So I'm not even gonna say her. Who oh, you talking about a matchup for Mary J? Yeah. Bro, that's what I'm saying. It's hard, bro. I'll, I'll, Unless you bring in like a newer person, not see, new, but newer. The only pe- like you know Beyonce, I will put either Beyonce against Rihanna or Janet Jackson. Nah, I'll put her against Rihanna all day. Think, yeah. That I'll be I'm there for that yeah, versus yeah, that, that'll be that'll, be the, that'll be the hardest 20. Man, this will be the hardest battle ever. Yeah, it would. And, 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 that's gonna be I'm so a, close. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Rihanna fan. You know bro, I'm saying? a fan so, of both. That's why I was like, I'll be happy with nah, him. Nah, yeah, I, I, I feel it. I, I don't have no problem with Beyonce, but if you, if you ask me to choose, yeah, that, you go with Rihanna. And right, see, I, right. I, I would probably go with Beyonce. Right. Yeah, that's a battle. That's, bro, that's a battle. That'll break the internet. Man, that's why they ain't gonna never do it. <laughs> yeah. You know what kind of bag you are gonna have to give them? Yeah. Rihanna yeah. ain't coming out for no chump chain. First off, she and, ain't and coming. I, and I'm I'm I wonder, and it's just an assumption, bro. And tell me if you agree or disagree with me. I wonder if some of them artists like Chris Brown or Beyonce. I wonder if they think that's beneath them. I wonder if they think that's for like washed up artists. You think they think like that? Um, I don't know if they think that's washed up, but I will say this: the verses could be dangerous if you are a current artist. Because let's say, okay, what well, everybody else who not everybody, but most people have done it is help revamp their career or it's help with their older hits come back to life. Right. Now, if, let's say Chris Brown was to go against Trey Songs, and Trey Songs kills this man, I feel that would hurt his career. I feel like that would hurt. So? Him. I think so because Chris Brown is revered at such a high standard. If he was to come in a twenty-song battle with Trey Songs and lose, uh, 
let's say fourteen to six, that would be very bad. I, at least I think so. I think that'll be bad for his career. I'm not saying his career will be over. Hell no. Nah. But he, I feel like he's gonna be hearing about that for a while. He yeah, gonna, we're on, we're and, on the internet. Exactly. And with with the retired people or the less active, I feel like people didn't. Some people don't really expect too much anyway. They just they just want to have a good time. But with active art, okay, let's say Beyonce and Rihanna, the Navy versus the Beehive. First of all, the end they're gonna be going crazy before the battle happen. The Navy That's and the Beehive is gonna be going at each other next. Be going at each other's necks. So that's already gonna be a problem. You probably have niggas real life fighting in the streets before the battle yeah. happens. And then and after the target, bro. Bro, exactly. And then after the battle, it's gonna be way worse. Because people are crazy like that behind them too. And, pe- and people behind can't take two, L's. Exactly. Take L's. Behind, behind Beyonce, Rihanna, and Nicki Minaj, they fans do not play, bro. And I'm letting y'all know right now, if anybody listens, I don't want no beef with none of y'all. None of y'all. Man, man, don't, don't come running up on me just because I like Rihanna. Nah, man, I'm talking about the online beef, but they don't leave you alone. They'll be on you for years. Oh, no. Literally. Yeah, literally. They talk about that girl who uh, so say bit Beyonce. They still be going to, and they never even proved it was her. They still be going to her pictures putting bees. And that was years ago. See what? A while ago, something happened with um, allegedly somebody had bit Beyonce. I don't really know. They try to say it was old girl. They try to say old girl from Love and Basketball, allegedly, but they try to say it was her. Um, so now later? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's she? What's she bitter for? I don't think it's true, bro. To be honest. Yeah, that, that sounds like you know, you know, people people will find out something happened or think something happened, and they just like yeah, run with and, it. and they'll see that this person was there, and they just instantly, oh, it had to be her. I did this. I did the math. It's her, but it don't be true. But uh, anyway. It was her, and it was somebody else that was accused of it. I think it was her at first, but it was somebody else. But they still be going putting bees on these people, uh, on these people' pictures. I don't, and I will say that I don't know for sure they still do it to uh, Sanaa Lake, but whoever the other girl, I can't remember her name. She was, I think she was younger. She was on uh the Terrell show on YouTube or whatever, and she was speaking on it, saying that they still be putting bees under her stuff. Still be putting bees. What? Bro, I'm like, oh no, I don't want that kind of smoke. Yeah, I can have that. But, no, but hey, wow, I, I, I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it gets crazy. That's why, it, it's really hard, bro, because I really can't think of nobody else for for Mary J, bro. Like I said, unless you go into the newer acts, like you want to bring out maybe, shoot, you Chicago, put out Janet, Janet Jackson, Mary J. Because Mary, Mary, Mary J, Janet Jackson is a legend, man. No, no, no that, that that's where that comes in. I don't know if Mary J. Yeah, yeah. Or see Janet and Mary J got some hits, but her hits different, man. That's that's them hurt hits, them them pain hits. That's, right, that's, they got two different, yeah, two different, yeah. Uh, two different moods. You know, so that's 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 why that won't be tough. Now I will say that I think it's beneath Janet. <laughs> I think doing the voice is beneath her. <laughs> Janet ain't doing. It. I feel my now. This is a versus that I want to see. But I know it's it's a it's a cold day. It's never gonna happen, bro. What? And I swear to I promise you, in my opinion, I think this versus will break the internet literally. Like the internet will crash. But if you can get 50 cent and ja Rule in the same room. Oh boy. Man, it'll be over with. That's that that'll be yeah, bigger yeah. than uh the GZ Gucci, even though theirs was more yeah. serious. But it's like I mean because theirs was more of a local. Beef. You're right. It, it that to put to the people in the south. That's yeah. a big deal. But you know on fifty. That's big everywhere. <laughs> bro, they <laughs> still don't like each other, bro. And that's why I never happened. Fifty already said it. He ain't man about to do that. It's gonna turn bad. Cause fifty don't care. You know how rich that man is. He can afford to punch you, bro. He'll take that bro. Bill, that contract. Yeah, you, you heard allegedly at a Jaru concert, fifty cent. Oh, what, what, oh, for <laughs> <laughs> you know how raw you gotta be to do that, dog. Then he, when he bought the first two rows, yeah, two hundred rows, and he and he left them empty. Left the whole front in, you know, and they already kill yourself when you come out to perform. I mean, you got your money because you already got paid, but bro, that gotta hurt. That it's gotta petty, hurt. Especially bro. Because at the time, you don't even know he did it. You just looking and saying, "No, <laughs> thinking ain't nobody show up." Boy, that's that hurt. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hurt. If I was y'all, Rod, just told everybody, "Hey, y'all come up, y'all come up, man. Take front, take up these seats up, dog." Y'all getting close tonight. 
Oh, bro, without prayer, oh, bro, I was yeah. dying, bro. I say, bro, he do not care. Fifty has proven at all. Uh, all these years, bro, he the best troller. Cause how you gonna hey, how control back to a nigga who do not care? Bro, shout out to Fifty. I read his hey, book, bro. Real, he real. book off the chain. Yeah, bro. Don't be bro. Bro. I don't read. Sorry, guys. It's a, it's a New York bestseller. He just posted like an hour ago. Hustle, hustle harder, hustle smarter. Yeah, y'all go cop that. It's at bar, it's at local. I mean. Most people don't read, so just get the audio book, man. I ain't gonna yeah, play y'all like that. Y'all might read, I don't, but yeah, I'll definitely get the audio book. But yeah, I, I feel like the audio book is more convenient because, like, like it's like a podcast. Exactly, like, you listen on the go. go. Yeah, right. Yeah, and that's how. That's how. I, that's I, how I, I told me had the audio. I'm had to go back to that. I'm had to go back to that. Yeah. For sure. The audio, the audio to the book on YouTube. Actually, like, the whole Fifty Cent book, the audio is on YouTube. It's about eight hours long. It took me like four, five days to like listen to it, but it, it was it was lit. And it's him doing it. It's his voice. So. Oh yeah, I'm gonna so, try yeah, that out. out. I'm gonna try that out yeah. for real. Check that, check that out, man. He, he dropped some jewels, but yeah, bro, that that would never happen. And I know, I know, just wishful thinking on my part. I promise you, I will clear my schedule. I don't hey, disturbance. A lot of people, I don't. people gonna call in the word, dog. I gotta watch this verse. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, cause they clown Ja Rule, but Ja Rule got some hits too. Bro, bro. Ja, and I'm saying, when you think about just music, the battle will be better than what people think. But it's it's gonna be all the extra energy surrounding it that's gonna kill it. Right, right. Cause either Ja Rule gonna try to be overly aggressive to compensate for how the story played out, or right. you are gonna see the fear in them. So it's gonna be one of the two. Cause fifty gonna be fifty regardless. So it's gonna be one of the two. Which and it's like I, I don't feel like Ja gonna come. Just cool, or he gonna try to be too damn cool, and I and I don't want that either. I I, 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 I honestly <laughs> believe, I honestly believe that's how it would go, and they both would act like nothing up more than them, and, and Fifty Cent will, uh, try to poke him. You know, what oh, I'm saying? Fifty gonna poke him the whole battle. Yeah, yeah. Man, bro, bro, I'm telling you, I, I would clear my schedule. Hell yeah, <laughs> right, bro. I'm gonna see that battle. I don't want to. I don't want to watch it on my phone. I want to watch it on my laptop, bro. I I, I might hook it up. I was to about to say that nigga put it on the TV, goddamn. Yeah, yeah. I, I need that, but I know, like I said, I we know it's not gonna happen. It's just wishful thinking, bro. I'm just being a fan. Yeah, you know it'll be it'll be cool. So, it'll be cool to see. I ain't gonna fake. Yeah, fifty in Ja Rule, man. Yeah. Break the internet, man. Get the get that mess. Y'all stop hating each other for an hour, bro, and get some money. Man. Even though y'all don't need it, and that's I'm well, just Ja Rule might need it. I don't know. No, I, I don't know. I, I'm not I, saying Jaru bro. I just know he do a lot of investments, yeah. a lot of risky investments. Jaru, I don't have everything. Oh yeah, Jaru get money too. Oh yeah, he I'm just saying. Jaru a hustler for sure, for sure. If 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 it's money to be get, got, you know what I'm saying? Or get the extra back. Get it. Ain't nothing wrong with getting more. So if you don't want to get it, right. pass it to me. <laughs> exactly, bro. Exactly. Um, another battle I would like to see, and I've heard a lot of people bring it up, bro. I don't think that's gonna happen because of one of these people. He probably feel like that's kind of like people trying to play him. Um, oh, okay. but I'm a, and I'm gonna say why. Uh, I would like to see Missy Elliott <clears throat> versus Buster Rhymes. Now, a lot of people have brought this up, and I agree with the same reason. I would like them to see together strictly based on their energy, and. I feel like it would just be they would have fun together. Like the, when you based off their music videos and how how high it was, they, they would basically be performing. Exactly, together, so. and I feel like that would yeah, be dope. Yeah. But I know Buster uh, considers him to be one of the top rappers. Cause Buster, he's an MC. Yeah, MC. Exactly, he yeah. rap rap, so he may not. Yeah. And Missy rap too. Now don't get me wrong, she rap, but he might feel like people trying to play him by putting him against a woman instead of another one of the top male rap rappers. You know what I'm saying? Because right. remember when he called out. Uh, T.I. T.I. Uh, started ducking him, in my opinion. I feel like he was definitely ducking, coming up with excuses. Cause, and not even ducking. I'm saying like this. T.I. put it as if Buster was beneath him. And I feel like that's that's disrespectful for you to think that I'm not on your level because I made fun videos and I'm turned up. Nigga, if you listen to what I'm saying, I'm really out rapping any song that you've ever written. You know what I'm saying? And I, but I'm saying... This 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 was my issue with them because I'm fans of both of them. Literally, of who? Buster Rhymes and T.I. Yeah. I'm fans of both of them. Buster can can he can Buster can touch into that nostalgic that T.I. can't reach. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Buster got hits in the '90s. T.I. didn't start. You know what I'm saying? To the two thousand. Yeah, style, but that's why I had the problem with because he called out the, he called out Jay Z and Jay Z been out. Since way back then, too. nah, 
he even he admitted that I shouldn't have done that because, like I said, Jay Z got that. It's it's level, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z would have to be called out like by some. I I want to see Jay Z versus Nas. And, you know yeah, what I'm and saying? I, I certain battles would have to happen. It would have to be Jay Z versus right. Nas. Like yeah. anybody else, so they, that that break sense. the internet too. It would, but I feel like and look, y'all, they cool. Is, and, and that's cool too from being cool. I just yeah. feel like everybody still want to see that battle. But I just, in my opinion, and I'm not really a huge fan of neither one of them. But I feel right. like that would be an easy dub for Jay Z. Over Nas, yeah, not because of rapping, because I, but I know there's a lot of critiques on Nas's beat selection and the way he chooses beats. And you gotta realize with a lot of people, um, and even though some battles ain't meant for the young niggas, the young people listening to and this generation, my generation, bro, they look we love beats, and if the beat is, if the yeah, beat is yeah, trash, wow. it throws you off. <laughs> You lost yeah, because the, the beat trans, yeah, they don't be right. listening to what you're saying. And, you know, some battles just ain't for everybody, and I, and I acknowledge that. It's like, if I can't do this to the lyrics, then, nigga, I shouldn't be listening to it at all. But in my opinion, some of Jay, most of Jay-Z hits, it's like, it's a hit from the lyrics to the production to the beat, everything. Nah, some songs right. like, okay, you got to strictly and, and listen. Exactly. With Nas, you got to strictly yeah. listen to what he's saying because them beats will throw you off. And I'm not even gonna stunt with you, bro. Like some, some, like some beats are so, some beats are so bad. I can't, I can't get to the exactly, league. bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel and you. That's, and that's making me hurt. Even though I would still like to see that battle, just see the energy. But at the same time, it's like sometimes the energy Nas get off. He just like so calm and whatever. So it's like, damn, that battle might right. be boring. And Jay Z, he's so up there, he gonna conduct himself in a a, a business fashion fashion as well. Cause he getting money everywhere. He can't be out here acting no fool on the camera, or acting crazy. You know what I'm saying? They, they above that now. So it's like, I feel like yeah, yeah, musically, yeah. Jay-Z will win. Performance-wise, I think they both will be boring as hell. But at least in, in a verse. On stage, when they, you know, that's different. But in a verse, I feel like they both will just be laid back, cool dudes. That's interesting. Well, uh, what, what's other battles, man? It, it's a bunch of battles that I would love to oh, see. Man. I didn't, uh... No, said? I was saying a whole bunch. I was agreeing with you. Of course, Michael Jackson and yeah, Prince. Well, I, got you. <laughs> you know, I know how you feel about yeah, it's this. A clear, yeah. For me, it's a clear wash. Like, it is, I mean, it is to me. But y'all, y'all gotta understand, we Michael Jackson yeah, fans. To me, you know they do saying? 20 songs. Michael gonna bring 18 of them home. <laughs> Kobe 18 or 2. And, and I know that sounds very disrespectful. Y'all kill me. I deserve it. But I... I'm a Michael Jackson fan, and then it'd be it'd be different if I like both of them. But I'm just, I I can't get jiggy with Prince, dog. I just can't do it. So it, it'll only be Purple Rain and with Doug Cry. <laughs> For me, it really be twenty zero. I was just trying to be nice. <laughs> I was trying to be nice, dog. Nah, it, I don't. Man, all right, I, I spoke I spoke on this in, in a previous podcast. Um, I I'm not even a fan of uh Purple Rain. Um, I know Purple Rain, but I'm not a fan of it. Uh, doves cry. Uh, I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep them all close. <laughs> you know, them Prince fans will come after. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I just I didn't like his music. I'm sorry. Guys. They turned his whole house into a museum, bro. That's crazy. That's not. Yeah, That's no, crazy. I don't like that. Y'all profiting off of this man. Well, um, but yeah, R. Peter Prince and Mike, sure, man. Sure. Too but that that's a battle that if 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 we could bring people back to have a battle. That would have to be the one, cause that's they have no business going against nobody else. Mm-mm. We ain't got nobody for Whitney Houston. I don't nah, think. I ain't got nobody, cause uh, yeah, yeah if, if like yeah, if if we we not thinking of everybody, comment, let us know. You yeah, know yeah, cause listen, I mean, yeah. Everybody. Now remember, this is a we do an hour podcast. Uh, we can't but speak on everybody. We can't get. But everything. we all gonna speak on the ones that we for sure, for sure want to see. And honestly, when I think about it, bro, I think with Whitney. It's not like I'm even saying like people's songs couldn't compete. I'm not saying that at all. It's just when I think of Whitney, bro, I'm just thinking about those vocals. And it's like, who's going to be able to handle those vocals? It's not even about just the song. But vocals? Not many people can stand in front of her. Yeah, not many people. I know they got a song. The and I got some people that, for me, would beat her. For me. But I know the rest yeah. of the world wouldn't agree. 
Who you who you got for Kanye? Uh, bro, Kanye on my. I I don't think about Kanye, bro. You <laughs> Kanye out of here, dog. Throw that nigga away. <laughs> Man, well, look, I took him out. The, I took him out the trash just for the episode, and I dug who who you got for him? I can't, bro, because as crazy as nutty as he is. You can't deny, bro, his pro- – like, people – before, even before he was a rapper, bro, like, he was producing Jay-Z albums. I mean, the dude is and, super talented. He's like the same thing we said. He ain't – I ain't going to say he's a creep, but same way we were speaking on R. Kelly, how he was a musical genius. Kanye is a musical genius. He's right. a musical genius, for real, for real. And, and me personally, I'm not no hardcore Jay-Z fan, but I am a Jay-Z fan. And I personally feel like the the blueprint, Jay Z's first blueprint album, is his best album he ever made. Yeah. And Kanye <laughs> produced most of that album. And now this is way in two thousand one, bro. Kanye didn't come out as an artist like two thousand four. He them, them you know years, y'all. I told you. He was he was, he was a he was around, but he wasn't around. You know what I'm saying? So it, I feel like he he. It would have to be somebody like Lil Wayne or somebody. You think? No, nah, you think it's I mean, a good technically, matchup? bro, that is a good matchup. But for me, you know, I put Wayne versus Drake. Uh, Wayne versus honestly, Drake. those three are interchangeable for me. Like, if you put yeah, Wayne yeah, versus yeah, Kanye, I think the same thing. Wayne versus Drake, Drake versus Kanye, I'll be happy with any one of those battles. I ain't gonna lie, because all of them, them three right there, taking Jay Z and taking you know the vet vets out. Cause Wayne, they all three of them people been around for a while, but you know Jay Z, they they was a little bit before that, obviously. But uh, yeah. those are top; those are three people that I I can't see people stepping in front of, bro. Rapper wise. Yeah. Okay, real quick. New edition or Boys, Boys to Men? Boys to Men. Why? Why you uh, like this? Just preference. Just preference. Uh, I like the. You no, know, I said me being a singer, I like the vocals better from Boys. I, I can't choose. I can't choose between Boys and Men. And, uh, it's because I used to actually like. I used to listen to Boys and Men heavy. I used to try to mock the notes. Some notes that I do, I've learned from listening to them. Uh, yeah, so that, that's an easy one for me. Who I would choose? But like I said, that's strictly preference. That's not even based off of hits because we know with New Edition and like I said with these with these verses, they could pull from anything that they've done. So when you think about their solo careers, they have right. too much to pull from. So I don't know if Boys to Men would ever actually want to see them niggas in a in a versus, but for my preference, I'm gonna take Boys to Men. But at the right. same time, in a 20 piece, New Edition got too much to pull from. Drew uh Drew Hill or Drew Hill or Joe Drew Hill. And I told like on the coin, we know you're a Jodeci fan, bro. But I was more of a Drew yeah. Hill fan, and I love Jodeci. Yeah, I like that. I, I yeah, that's like not, that's not talking Hill. down on Jodeci, and Jodeci might win that battle. But when we go off right. preference, I'm choosing Drew Hill. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm choosing, I, I'm choosing I, Drew I Hill. Like and we go, I know people who uh, mad. Cisco's bro. vocals. Because that man right. can sing, y'all. He a little crazy, but that man can yeah. sing. I ain't going to fake on him. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, Corn corn probably like, what? Yeah, bro. It's just our, like I said, yeah. This is our opinion, bro. I, I'm more of a Drew Hill fan fan than I am a, uh, a yeah. Jodeci fan. Me too. Know, but like I, I like both of them. But yeah, if I had to choose, I'm going with Drew Hill. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they got a lot of battles, bro. They got some that we ain't thinking of that haven't yeah. happened yet. Like producer wise, I would love to see. I would love to see uh, Timberland versus Dr. Dre or something like that. Yeah, you know that would be fun. Wise. But Tim Timbaland already went, right. didn't he? Who won against Swiss? Swiss, I think he did. Yeah. And y'all too. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from saying certain ones that could possibly happen. Uh, go, go for like, it. Like no, certain ones could possibly happen. So it's like I, I feel like there's no fun in that <laughs> imagining it because it could happen. Uh, right. one for me that I the reason why. I, I feel like it won't happen because I feel like they do think they're above it because obviously you, these two people don't even pop out like talking about it. But when we talk about lyricism, these two are two of the best, and that's uh, J. Cole versus Kendrick Lamar. Um, oh, that's yeah, fun. That's I feel like fun. they would never do it. Obviously, they, they told us they want to do an album together. Would already pissed me off. Like, why not? But okay. Yeah, because they, they, t- they tease uh, a few times, time. and I just knew it was coming. They're going to yeah. tell me the end of the song. Yeah. Never. 
Why did bro, it didn't cut off? off. Uh, Boy, that hurt my soul. But I love to see that yeah, battle. Dude. And although I believe a lot of people put Kendrick above J. Cole, uh, man, I've been a J. Cole head since he came out. So for me, J. Cole oh, yeah. gets the dub, but by a very, very close margin. Very close. But I, I I think see I'm like that to J Cole. That's my favorite two rappers, but J Cole is one. And yeah, it's two. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like Kendrick has a little bit more commercial success. Than yeah, Cole, he do. Cole. Yeah, that's true. Like and, that, and, and yeah, like that damn album, that <laughs> humble song, bro. Uh, that bro and that's and that's what for me, like uh, like you just said, the Kendrick do have more because I feel like, and I feel like they both just did whatever the hell they wanted. It's just certain songs. Like Kendrick's style, like you said, it was just more commercial. J. Yeah. Cole's style is always kind of, and not all the time, because people be acting like he, I hate when niggas try to say he made elevator music. That pisses me off. But, uh, yeah, pisses me off. But, uh, sometimes his songs is a little bit more laid back where he literally wants you to listen to what he's saying. But then you right. get like Forest Hill Drive. That's part of the. Bro, that's that's, one of, that's my favorite al- rap album of all time. Like album, I'm not kid. I'm not counting mixtapes and all that, but just albums. That's my favorite one. Cause that album, that's, that's dope. One, that's, that's, yeah, bro. That's I don't have, I play that all the way through. I want. I will not skip one song. Yeah. That I, I would say that. Sports Hill Drive. Damn, damn was a good album. Great album. The Carter Three. The Carter Three. Uh, I feel like Take Care was a great album. Yeah, it had a lot of hits on there. I mean, I didn't really. I wasn't really um, a huge fan of it because I don't like Drake singing for whole songs. I like him singing. I like him singing on yeah, hooks, not whole right. songs. And Biggie's first album, "Life uh, Ready to Die," that's my personal. You know what I'm saying? Top five yeah. albums of all time. And nah, I forgot. Get with your doctor. Oh yeah, I'm about you gotta give me that. It's crazy. That's that's another one I can play all the way through. But uh, bro, um. I don't know why people like. I think J Cole designed it. Yeah, like that. I feel like he did it on purpose to keep himself. Because yeah, as you said, he's a very private person. You know what I'm saying? I didn't right. even know he was married and with kids until he wanted us to know. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he definitely did stuff right. a certain way to keep you. Because he was just always in your face. I feel like the media would be chasing him more to try to figure out what he's doing in his free time. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he definitely, yeah. yeah, I agree with you. I feel like he definitely designed it that way. How long do you think these versus battles going to last? Man, uh, until niggas stop saying they want to do it. Because people going to, I feel like people forever watch it. Eventually, I would like to see it adapt. Yeah. Um, But as far as with the- I think I think it has, bro, because at first it started off as, one person, like basically, both yeah, on Instagram, definitely. like, locked, and then they, got then they started doing well, yeah, it. Well, they went from Instagram to doing the perfect deal separately, but more professional production to, yeah, in person. But no, now you know, they separated, Have, having a setup, yeah, they with separated a stage, the for this last know? one due to the damn virus, yeah. COVID. So that's why I say right. I, I see it still going for a while because they don't expect the virus going anywhere no time soon, despite this whole vaccine. Um. I would like to see it adapt. I feel like eventually they're going to – we're going to be able to tell when it's dying down. When we start seeing matchups like, what the hell is this? We're going to know we're gonna know they running out. Right. They running out of their ideas then. It's, it's very crazy, it, 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 though. It's I, a I dope concept, man, for, real, real, for real, real. for real. It's inspiring, yeah, yeah. for real. But, but these, these versus battles, bro, like, it's it's – it's it's a couple of them that I didn't care about because of my personal preferences. Like I I didn't watch the Monica and Brandy. You know, so even though they yeah. both legends. You know, so I didn't watch the Ashanti and Kisha. Like so I watched pieces of that, but with that, like I said, yeah. it was just the energy was yeah. off for me. Uh, like I said, I, I told you earlier this week. I found out later why the energy was off, but at the same time, it's like that could just be an excuse that somebody made. And even then, it's like sometimes we gotta. When stuff hit us, bro, we just got to take that lick and keep it going. We can't show that something's frustrating us. Yeah, that's facts. And that's something we got to battle with every day. But this this is, what I, this is how I look at it, bro. If Jeezy and Gucci can be in the same room and, and get yeah. it together, everybody else can. Play, so that, that was a real shit. Oh, yeah, nigga played the diss song about killing your partner while you right across from him. 
Yeah, they, they can get through that. So if, <laughs> yeah, get through and then at, at, at the end, at the end of the uh, verses, they squashed. Yeah, for the for the cameras, we know. Well, but it it don't matter, bro. It's like they yeah, got through. They made it through without putting like hands it. on each other, without anything like that. So yeah, if, if they can do that, yeah, so man, all that you gotta do the same stuff. thing. Um, another uh, one battle that I didn't really care for. Uh, only because not not just in their music, not nothing against music, great music. It's just because they were older. E, e, e well, that was a show. Now that one I didn't watch. <laughs> and, uh, sorry, no, I, 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 I watched that. Watch I watched that because it's like, man, I, yeah, bro, it's not your style. Oh, uh, now I was talking about yeah, Gladys yeah. Knight and Patti LaBelle. Oh yeah, that's yeah, you know, and I know I love music. It, it was so peaceful. Like, of course they peaceful. This is gonna be a good loving battle. He's like, no, I like a little, a little, ugh. like, yeah. Now I, I came here to kill. Yeah, it. I came here to like win. It. Even though it's gonna be a celebration, though, <laughs> I came here to win. With them, it actually felt like a celebration. Just like by, by doing yeah, Jill Scott, but I actually like enjoyed too. theirs. I guess because maybe yeah. they're younger. Now they, and they, can they they talk on about. They talking about doing a oh trying to do get this biggie and Tupac oh, yeah, talking about that, yeah. That's gonna be lit. Gonna bro. Be, but like I said, it's, it's that's all about be expensive. Yeah, it they is. Trying to do, it they, is, they trying to do the it's hologram thing or how are they doing that? I hope so because that Tupac hologram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was five. They said it costs a whole so, lot of money to do that. Man, yeah, but damn, and yeah, cause they gonna make some money off of it. niggas gonna tune in to see if they do it right. Man, bro, they they gonna break, they gonna break. I know I didn't said that to, so many times yeah, on this right. podcast, they but they gonna the internet, break huh? the internet. But they really will, son. Like people well, who fixing it, it then? Man, I guess Timberland Swiss and Puff. It, they fixing the internet. I mean, they, oh, bro, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> Uh, that, they got the point. They got together, the money yeah. to do it, sir. And, and nowadays, you know, that's some years yeah. back they did that. Now I'm pretty sure they can make it for, uh, you know, for cheaper, for less expensive way of making it. But then on top of that, bro, if that was on Tupac on stage in front of people, that it was, it's, it don't gotta be yeah, people in this room. They, you know what I'm saying? It's, it was it's, moving it's him all though. around the stage. Yeah, he can just be sitting in, in yeah. one spot. Or even if you have him standing a little bit, at least he ain't walking. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, it definitely can be done. And that would be the battle. Now, out of everything we said, they put them two against each other. Especially if they do, like, if they make them talk or some stuff like that or whatever it may be. Like, man, that's going to break the end there. That's going to have people who ain't never watched the verses. They're going to be on there. That's going to have. That's gonna be worldwide. People don't understand English is going to be on there just to watch. Because that's, that's just for, that's already creative. You add more creativity to a creative process, like it's just gonna be fire. They'll be fire. But if they so if they battle, me. who who you got? I don't know. Uh, gotta pick something, man. Uh, I can't, bro. Now you, uh, in faith, pick I one. can't. Well, I, who you pick? I, 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 I would, if if my yeah. money was on it, yeah. like if I had money on it, I would have to pick Tupac. That's that's the smart money. That's that's that's, that's smart. You know, what I'm that's the smart thing to do. That? Even though. Personally, Biggie is my like Biggie is personally my favorite rapper oh, wow. of all time. But I I would have to go with Tupac because of the artist part, bro. Tupac is I Biggie is iconic, but Tupac is a iconic yeah, on a whole nother level, outside. bro. Like like I, like we said before, yeah, he's our yeah. Elvis, bro. True. You know what I'm saying? So I I would have to be sport and pick yeah. Tupac. You know what I'm saying? That would to me that would be dumb. I would even I wouldn't say it's dumb because there's a lot of people who are huge Biggie fans and a lot of people who um buy into the conspiracies and all the things that's come out about Tupac since um you know his death. Even when you think about the whole when you know there's a lot of people who who speak on the whole him claiming West Side when he wasn't from the West Side. People say he wasn't really a gang member or whatever that stuff is. Some people buy into all of that and that that will affect their judgment to where they automatically come into the battle like Biggie won. And then you already have certain biases uh, that's going to say Biggie won. You know, when you think about the people who's affiliated with Tupac versus people who are affiliated with Biggie, we think about the like they go back to the bad boy in Death Row. Right. 
And Big really was a street dude. Like he really yeah, he's a street dude who got you know it together. Yeah, yeah. That that but yeah, that that one will be that would yeah. be the main event. That'd be the one to end it off. The main event. Like it's over with after that. Cause what yeah. you going there's nothing in my opinion that could top that. I'm I so agree. that would have to be I the agree. one you you finish the whole thing out. I bro, I would I would pay to see that, bro. If they if, if they if they say you had to pay yeah, like, as long as they don't go that, crazy, I would pay that. No, yeah, oh, oh yeah, like I said, nine ninety nine. Yeah, a little ten piece, ten dollars. I'll give you ten for that, bro. So yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing after that, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, hopefully they they keep them coming because we yeah. are enjoying them. You know, shout out to Swiss and Tim Timberland and Puff. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, what you got going? Uh, on? Hold on, bro? before I tell you what I got going, on, I got one more question for you, man. Uh, I feel like we we neglected our white boys, insane get back street boys. Yeah, I'm very I forgot about them. I I think I I, I think Insync got a slight edge. Slight? Bro. Why? Because, bro, Backstreet. Backstreet. Uh, uh, honestly, bro, I, I, it's, yeah, it's, it's like that's one of the ones. Like, like, bro, I wouldn't be mad. Whoever y'all chose to win it wasn't like, okay, I can see it. I can see it. But it also yeah, depends, it's, like it's, I said. Yeah. With these verses, just, Justin Timberlake can pull out anything he's done. He can pull out his solo. And if yeah. he pulls out his solo, it's over. I mean, that's not fair. Nah, but that's the way they've been doing it. Anything attached to the people that's involved, that's why, but that's why they well, say Darian, that's single. That, that's, that's hey, single. I'm just that's telling single you the, I'm doing, telling you the rules like, that they've been doing. Cause that's what they, that's what, that's why they said with new oh, edition. That's, that's why the problem would be because they could pull anything from new edition, uh, Bell, Bill DeVoe, uh, Bobby Bill Brown. DeVoe. They could pull anything that they've done. They can use. But that's why oh, I said, like when you brought shit. up the um the label thing, what you say about the label is very accurate because it has to be done under that label. But as far as the group members themselves, they could pull from anything they've done. Period. Then what, what? What I'm saying? Why they don't just do their own individual verses? Then if they, they could, do but then it's gonna be individual. You wouldn't see a, a new edition versus Boys to Men. You it, wouldn't it, do that. Hey, it, it's always somebody reneging. I mean, no, that, that, re-nig, I mean, re-nig, shoot, re-nig they want made the right? rules. They want to say it's cool. And that, and that that that's what yeah, allowed yeah. Little John to play records that he wasn't on. He just wrote it or he did this for, it. but he wasn't on the record. <clears> but he was allowed to do it. Same deal with T Pain. He was able to play records that he wrote. That's the ultimate reach. But okay, then you would have to do the dream versus me. Um, I can definitely see that battle. Definitely. That would actually be a really good battle. When you consider what they've written. Yeah, because they yeah. both wrote a I I I I honestly say in in my opinion, y'all, Neo and Dream has probably written more hits. Definitely. I feel like a lot of songs people just rather hear from other people, even though I'm a huge Neo fan of his girl music too. And that's right. the only reason why I would give that battle to Neo, because I like Neo's voice better. I like his oh, voice yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. as far as just what they've written, now that battle there, if you go straight off of writing only, like not just, not their singing, just writing ability song-wise, that's a battle right there. Them two, that's a battle for real. For right, real. That'd right. be interesting too. That'd be really interesting. Yeah, that is. I wish that I would yeah, just, just to do a battle really strictly off of what you've written. None of your own songs, just what you've written. And watch how shocked people be to realize that they have written these songs. A lot of people don't know what they've done as far as what they've written. Right. Even when you was telling me about R. Kelly, some of the stuff he written, I'm like, damn, I didn't know that. Because some people, you know what I'm saying, we don't do the research. Yeah, we don't really, yeah. we just like it. And that's it. We like it, we vibe to it. We don't really care who wrote it. Yeah, Neo wrote one of Beyonce. Don't tell him yet, because we're we going we gonna to do that. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into that one day, the, the writer. We're going to show you y'all, y'all appreciation. Because people don't give y'all enough love. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, some hits, man. Dream and got a lot of too. hits, bro. That's you know what I'm saying. It's, it's a couple people out here that you and they got people who not even big, and you are gonna find out who wrote some hits. Like, uh, I'm not. Well, I'll say because we ain't gonna talk about nigga the whole episode. But there's a dude named Justin Love that people may not know about, but he wrote one of hers biggest hits. Uh, Focus. She ain't write that. She ain't write yeah, that. Yeah. That's a little dude that a lot of people don't even know about, but that was a hit. Christina. I- Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears. Uh, she got the hits, but 
I would never, yeah, I would yeah, never yeah. We play a voice. Britney Spears song on my phone. Well, hey, I if you like Britney Spears, then you go follow 80s, 90s, and 2000s vibes playlist on Spotify hey, I like music. The plug. music. We got <laughs> everything for everybody. <laughs> we got it all. The, the, it's for everybody. Yeah. So no matter what you like, that, right? they got stuff on there for you. It's on the, it's on the Spotify playlist, yeah. Apple playlist. Yeah, I do that. So what you, uh, what you, what man, you got um, going on, bro? Go to work tomorrow. That's normal. And then, man, we're about to shoot out to Texas this weekend and do a little bit of house hunting. Trying to see, you know, what area we want to we want to move to. Um, if if I ain't said it before, y'all, uh, your boy from Louisiana, you heard. Um, but we trying to make that transition to see what else is out there, bro. For real, for real. That's no, most definitely, man. That's the goal. Wait, if man. I don't, if I move out there, and then you don't disappear and move somewhere else. We'll see how they work we'll, out. We'll, see. <laughs> we'll talk. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll talk. But yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Officially, y'all. Not breaking news, but breaking news. I am officially yeah. a social media manager. Yes, so, if if you need help building your social media for your business, your pages, your your your, your clothing line, and you you really don't have the time to do it yourself, or you're struggling doing it, Perfect. DM me, man. Hit me up on the page. DM eighties, nineties, thousand vibes. Or DM Season me, and then I'll just bro. call them for you. Don't, don't, I got his personal yeah, number. I ain't gonna get to y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm we can do it like that. And, and anybody that reach out to my boy, man, first yeah, of all, they ain't gonna be free. But anyway, um, please take what he tell y'all. Yes. And actually listen, because he he's giving me some great advice. The difference is I don't really listen. I'm a bad. I'm very lazy, y'all. And it's like I'm like mm, I'll do it tomorrow. Then tomorrow come like, mm, I'll do it tomorrow. Don't procrastinate. Listen to what this man tell y'all. Take it in because he, he know what he's doing, y'all. For real, for real. He know what he's doing. But yeah, yeah, but y'all would have mm-hmm. to basically give me control of y'all page but to learn more. So hit my boy, hit my boy. You know, give that. y'all the juice. Yeah, series requires only. Don't waste my time. Up. I'm gonna waste yours. You know, <laughs> nah, well, you'll I get not respond. Yes, but yeah, man, follow us on Instagram, 80s, 90s, Stars of Vibes on Instagram, 80s, 90s, Stars of Vibes on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, we'll be in the description to everything, to everything that we have going on, the links will be in the description. I know I say it all the time and I don't be doing it, but it will be in this one. I guarantee it. But hey. We, yeah. we, get new, we get new subscribers. Yeah, somebody, every week, so somebody first time here. And we appreciate everybody who subscribed to show us love. Right, we appreciate right. all of y'all. Uh, thank y'all in advance. Uh, we appreciate the likes. Um, if y'all, you know, y'all, y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share our videos. Uh, please and thank you in advance. All right. You're. All right.